Nobody forgot to bring some food. Don't worry. There's my lunch. Well, have a good time. Don't be late, or I will come back. Be to careful, the please. Well, now that they're gone, I can get to work at last. But maybe I ought to have a little bit of a nap first. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wait for Corky. Oh, look, some view. <laughs> can we eat lunch now? No. Yes. Hello, picnic. Yeah. Ooh. Look. That man over there seems so hungry. I think we should offer him some of our food. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to give him mine. Mm -hmm. Me neither. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You both are being selfish. Oh, come to think of it, this reminds me of something. Right. It was in Jesus' parable. There was a certain beggar. Come and get your fresh egg. Watermelon. Here you are. Fresh rolls and bread here. Oh, I'm Lazarus. Could you spare a piece of bread for a hungry beggar? My stomach's gone empty most of a week. Ugh, what a filthy, disgusting man. You're ruining our business. Be off with you. Please give me just one of your figs, then I'll go away. Get lost. Lazarus, I'd get out of here and go over to Master Mammon's if I were you. Huh? Master Mammon's? Mm-hmm. Since he's so wealthy, he must eat more than anybody else. His garbage could be worthwhile. Huh? Wow, this drumstick's been dry. Oh, what a big waste. Do I dare? Yes, I do. Jeez. Meat. Ah, what's the matter, Snap? My name is Lazarus, and I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just some thief. Get him, Snap! Hey, I wasn't stealing, just cleaning up your garbage. Snap, let me go! Quiet. What a nuisance. Put him out, please. You can be thankful Snap didn't snap your head off. Beat it, you! <laughs> that didn't just tickle. But the cheese was worth it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Huh? Wonder what's going on. <laughs> this fine drink came from the distant vineyards of Rhodes, my friends. These beautiful ripe apples from Crete. And the fish, the cheese, everything you see has been specially imported. Come now, the meal awaits your pleasure. What if we end up eating him out of house and home? Don't try. We'd be exhausted from overeating before that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Then there'll be lots of garbage for me after the party. Must try the leg of mutton. I'm afraid I'm full. Go on. Well. Huh? Uh, 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 He's choking. Do something. Uh, 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 oh, Master oh, Mammon. Dead. dead. <laughs> Abraham, up in heaven. But wait, that other man, where have I seen that face before? Oh, yes, that's the beggar who took the garbage that day from my dog, and he's in heaven. He's got to help me, Father Abraham. It's me, Mammon. Oh, Father Abraham, please have pity on me. Send Lazarus here to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my burning tongue. I'm tormented in this flame, Father Abraham. Remember, Mammon, my son, in your lifetime you had only good things. Likewise, Lazarus had only bad things. Now Lazarus is being comforted here in heaven while you're being tormented in hell. Look, Father Abraham, I knew this man in life, and he's not accustomed to suffering as I was. Please let me go down to hell and give him some comfort. That cannot be done. There's a great chasm between heaven and hell which cannot be crossed over from one side or the other. Oh, me. Oh. Wait, Father Abraham. I don't want my brothers to come here, too. Will you please send Lazarus to my father's place and tell him to be sure and warn them? 
If Lazarus would tell them how I'm suffering here, maybe my brothers would change their ways before it's too late for them, sir. But it's useless. I will show them to you. <laughs> I'm seeing them. There's all my five brothers. And there's the elder from the temple. My friends, it is my duty to warn you that if you continue to worship money instead of God, you will follow your brother to hell when you die. Remember the teachings of Moses and the prophets. Repent and God will forgive you. <laughs> Come on, old man. Worshiping God has never made anybody rich. Yes, brother's right. Yeah, find us a God who will help us make money and we'll be glad to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's shutting <him> up! <laughs> you see, those who won't heed the servants of God are hopeless men. If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced the one rose from the dead. <laughs> There, you see? Maybe you'll end up like Mammon because you were selfish. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Oh, think I lost my appetite. <laughs> oh, look, he ate everything up. It seems like he'd want to leave some for us. Seems like you forgot about Mammon. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh. Eat as much as you want, Mr. Banger. <laughs> thirsty. You get me something to drink first. All right, but stay awake now. Sure. Orange juice coming up. There you are. What time is it? It is time for work. For work? Then you better go bring me a cup of coffee to wake me up. What's next? Ugh. Cup of coffee coming up. Here you are. Ooh. That was delicious. Hit the spot. So now you are ready for work? As a matter of fact, I'm a bit hungry. All right. <laughs> Sir, bring me some bacon and scrambled eggs with raisin toast. Come to think of it, I'd like some french fried potatoes with ketchup as well. Is that all? Uh, well, I might not mind a piece of grapefruit or perhaps some watermelon. If it's fresh. And don't forget my second cup of coffee. Sir, you are a slave driver. Or I should say, robot driver, you want me to do everything while you do not do anything? Oh, by the way, Jesus told a parable about a man like you. Is that right? I want to hear that parable. All right, I will tell it. A certain landowner was called away from home. You summoned us, Master Gentry? Yes, Hector. A messenger has just arrived from Egypt. I must go there at once to attend to some business. But it's time for us to plant now, Master Gentry. Ply, you must take care of it. Really? I'm not positive how many weeks this business matter will keep me in Egypt. While I'm gone, you'll be in charge of the field work. Hector will be in charge of looking after the mansion. I shall be in charge of the mansion? Mm-hmm. Can I trust in you and Ply to be wise and faithful servants in my absence? Yes, sir. <laughs> Here he comes. Where's he going? going out to Egypt. Oh. Sit down, donkey. I'm counting on you. We won't disappoint you. Mm-hmm. Have a good trip, sir. Yep. Farewell, sir. Yes, yes sir. Be Have careful on the road. Road. Watch out for bandits, sir. The rich master's leaving on a trip. Malthus, there couldn't be a better time to fall upon him and rob him of all his money. He'd be Ooh. too smart to have much of his money with him. We'll do better if we take advantage of his absence to ransack the mansion of its valuables. Well, Malthus, you've really got brains. Get here. Let's go. Hmm. I'm off to plan. Listen. If you're going to be a real administrator, the first thing you have to learn is that you must give the orders, but then let the persons under you carry them out. 
After all, the one who gets to be in charge and never have to work. But the workmen do better if I help them. And besides, it gives me pleasure. Come on, man. Get it up. Oh, I think he's spoiling the workers. If I were the master, I wouldn't have appointed such a fool to take care of my fields. Yeah, I should be in charge of everything myself. your lunch. Good work, men. We'll soon be done with the planting. I hope to have it finished by the time the master returns. He's been gone for five days. I wonder how Hector's been getting along in that mansion. You! Can't you work any faster? Yes, yeah, you! I told you to get a move on there! How dare you turn your back on me? The master appointed me in his place so you'll obey my orders while he's away if you know what's good for you. Now apologize for your insolence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will if you want, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Stop. Yes, sir. I want respect or you'll all be whipped. Your supper, sir. Hmm? Thank you. It's cold. Are you expecting me to drink this bowl of pea soup when it's as cold as a fish? Oh, forgive me. Let me warm it up some more for you. I'll be right back, sir. I like being master. It's fun. We're doing fine, men. Only one more field to go. Hiram, keep those furrows straight, please. Malthus, we've been waiting for ten whole days. Why don't we attack those workers? Those workers are too well organized. So, let's go see what's going on at the mansion. That heck just turned into a rat. Ten days ago, he was just another servant like us. And look at him now. Ever since Master Gentry left, Hector's been treating us all like personal slaves. I tell you, I can't take it much longer. Oh, neither can I, Javeth. <laughs> now it's time to attack. Why now, Matthias? It's precisely what I wanted. With the head of the house away and all of the servants being mistreated, everything's out of control. That makes it the perfect time to strike. You're a genius. With the field hands, it's different. So, stay out of their way. Right. Hmm? What? There's a merchant outside who wants to sell me some wine? Yes. Should I tell him Master Gentry's gone and send him off? You're not the one in charge here. I'll see him myself. Yes, sir. Show him in. Whatever you say, sir. Hmm. Well, what a young landowner. Oh, come in. <laughs> Hello, my name's Mafius, and I'm selling imported wines. Well... I'm only the master steward. Surely you jest. I pride myself on being able to recognize well-bred gentlemen when I see him. I would never have guessed that you weren't the master himself. An understandable mistake. If you would be so kind, sir, please accept this complimentary bottle of wine. Sure. One of my fine imported Grecian wines. Thank you. Wow, that's the best I've ever tasted in my life. Do you have any more of this left for sale? Yes, we have three jars of that. Then I'll buy it. Uh, Hector, maybe you should think this over. Chafin, how many times must I tell you you're not the one who's in charge here? No, sir, but I believe the master's going to be displeased. So am I. You, you asked for it. Stay out of my business. Oh. I'm buying that wine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> My plan is working. When are we going to get the valuables? Don't worry, it'll be soon. All we have to do now is wait for Hector to drink up some of that wine. Oh. Hmm? Hey, get me some more wine! Yes, sir. Then don't take all night. I'm thirsty! But this is your second bottle, sir. So what? Masters can drink as much as they want. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, why? Hector, you haven't locked up yet? Uh, no. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, you're very drunk. I haven't had that much to drink. Just a few glasses of wine. <laughs> Don't forget, drinking puts you off guard. Ah, leave me alone. You just look after your business and I'll look after mine. Go! Oh. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, I'm not going to argue with you. Just remember to lock up before you stumble to bed. Busy body. He's too foolish to appreciate the advantages of being in his new position. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Robbers? Whereabouts? In here, Hector. Come and see for yourself. They took the valuables and fled. Doors were left open last night. Oh, Must have happened after we all went to bed. There's only two roads the thieves could have taken. Divide into two groups and go after them. Right. Let's go. Wait, Let's go. I give the orders around here. Hector, is it true the thieves broke in? They didn't have to break in because somebody forgot to lock up the mansion last night. Just wait till I get my hands on a guilty party. It was you, Hector. Who is that who dared to speak such a lie? You'll regret it when I get hold of you and give you a whipping! Liar! Oh, Master Gentry! Hello, Master. You were the one who forgot his duty. I... Hector, you fell asleep on the job and failed to protect my mansion from thieves. What's more, when you saw my return was delayed, you began to beat the servants and be drunken. I did, sorry. Hector, you knew my wishes, but you didn't act accordingly. Therefore, I shall cut you off from me. Ply, I found your work faithfully discharged when I returned. You have my blessings. You shall be steward of all my estate. There now. Do you see what happens to someone who mistreats his servant and neglects his work? He loses everything on Judgment Day. Well, now, sir, you let me wait on you for a change and you have yourself a nice rest. But robots do not need rest. Come on now, relax. I do not know how. There. Now, tell me what I can bring you. What would bring you pleasure? Oil, thank you. Oil coming right up. Oil? I should have told him that story long ago.